Hello YouTube, welcome back to another fun fresh Friday on my channel. Today I look utterly insane because I've already covered my brows and if you can tell by the title of this video, you will know why. Okay, so I'm a little bit late to the party on this. This was a trend probably about two or three months ago. It might even be a bit longer now because I have a really strange sense of time. So I think in the USA, high school is all the way up until you're 18. Whereas in Britain, high school goes up to 16 and then you go off to college between 16 and 18. So I never used to wear makeup in actual high school, British high school, before I was 16. I did, however, start wearing makeup in college. So I have had to do a bit of a Google deep dive on myself to find these pictures because you know, as it happens throughout the internet history, I've had many different laptops, many different computers, and each one at some point had to be reformatted and you just lose pictures. That's just how it used to be the days before the cloud. So after some scouring, I went all the way back through my Facebook and found the first picture that I ever posted and the caption is February 2007. I'll put it up on the screen right now. So in February 2007, I literally must have been just coming up to my 18th birthday. So I don't have any pictures from before that really because like my high school never did a yearbook or anything and my college certainly didn't do a yearbook. But what I'm gonna do is pepper some pictures from around that time, probably between the ages of, you know, 17 to 20 around in this video so that you get a nice idea of how I used to look and who I used to roll with and how I went out, etc. There is one really infamous picture actually that was taken of me that I was inv invited to a uh, fancy dress party on Halloween, but I had just done a skin peel. I was really into skin peels in my later teen years and I had literally just done a really strong TCA acid peel. So my skin was like peeling off and I thought, wonderful, I have to go to a fancy dress, what shall I do? I'll dress as a clown and put a veil on, as you will see here. <laughs> Honestly, I was such a MacGyver at the time. Anything to do with my skin, pop a veil on, put a hat on. Your hair's got roots, wonderful, make them shine. So as I say, this is the earliest picture that I can find. So this is how I went to college. I actually studied graphic design, photography, computing, and English language. Oh, I love my hair here. Look at those gorgeous extensions. Mind you, I was kind of ratchet. This was the biggest time at which the scene on MySpace was really big. I was really into having fun colored hair. Oh, it's quite iconic. I can't exactly remember the circumstances around this picture. Like, it doesn't look like a selfie, I would say. So, I don't know who took this picture, but I'm doing something really weird with my mouth as well. So, shall we? we get into how I used to do my makeup. So the first thing you can tell about this picture is that I do not have my natural eyebrows at all. This was a skinny eyebrow phase and I want to say that that's just because that's how the scene was going. Some people had like super thick jet black eyebrows and some people went for the real sort of really skinny pencil thin literally just a line of liquid liner eyebrows and I can tell that that is what I have done in this picture. So that is why I have covered my brows today. Don't come for me though because my technique still needs a little bit of work shall we say. Back in this time I didn't really know of any products that you could mix with a foundation to make it you know whiter and pale so I'm gonna share with you my little secret of what I used to do. So I think in this picture I had already become like quite a fan of MAC Cosmetics and I used to love their formula foundation, the Studio Fix Fluid in N, uh, NC15, I think was the shade I actually went for, because no shades lighter than that existed at this time. And it was a real bother to try and get your face matched in like, drugstores or whatever. So today I don't actually have uh, Studio Fix Fluid with me, but I do have uh, the Pro Longwear formulation in the shade NW15. So this is slightly darker than NC15, but you'll see what I'm gonna do. You'll see what I'm gonna do. So I used to actually prime with the matte gel, just matte gel cream by MAC. So what I'm gonna do is do a little bit of pore filling. This wasn't done back in the day, so mm, Try not to come for me for that. But it was just, you know, a plain silicone primer. I did know about priming, yes. Believe it or not, I did. I think around this sort of time, I was also doing um, Five Awesome Trannies on YouTube, which used to be a collaboration channel that I'm sure a lot of you know me from. I keep getting comments from people who've been following me since then, so you'll, like, really know 
me from back then. Like, you'll know how I did my makeup to college slash high school. Yes! Okay, so what I used to do was take my foundation and I used to pop it on the back of my hand. You're gonna instantly see just how wrong this shade is for me. Mm, doesn't look too bad on camera. What I used to do is, because stippling brushes, I had no idea what they were, beauty blenders and beauty sponges, no real idea what they were either. I used to take a foundation brush and swipe it all over my face like this. Ah, it doesn't look horrendous on camera, actually. In real life, I just don't think I could ever be this colour. It literally is so tangerine. I used to always love doing this, and because, like, these brushes give you quite a lot of brush strokes in your foundation, I used to always just pull down. So, this is not really a tutorial, but this is just how I used to be. Oh gosh, look at that, actually you can tell on camera. Mmm, I can't believe this is actually the colour of this foundation. Like, who is this colour? No one is this colour, surely. So, before the days of Beauty Blender, I used to have this wonderful little trick to smooth out my skin by going over it with one of these really quite tragic old cosmetic sponges. Like, honestly, who is this colour? If I zoom in, you can see. This is so unacceptable. So I used to use a product by MAC Cosmetics. In fact, it was from the MAC Pro range, and it was Studio Fix Powder in the shade Shivering White. And that used to really, like, buff in. It was a plain white foundation powder that you could really use to lighten your skin tone. I don't have that at the moment, so what I'm going to do is use the Stargazer White Press Powder and really lighten up this mess that I have on my face right now. I used to take a giant powder poof and just press this into the skin, instantly lifting my skin back to a relatively human colour for me. I'm already starting to look a little bit more human, even if I do look a bit ghostly at the same time. So once this was all on my skin, I would just let it settle in to really, you know, cake to the face and also change that colour of my foundation. What an interesting time I lived in. I've got to give it to me, it kind of works, if you know what I mean. Like, it definitely has lightened me up. I don't, wouldn't say that this is right, but... God bless anyone who was friends with me at that time, because how could I possibly have looked like this? How could it be? How could it be? At this point, I would dust off all the excess, and then around this time, the film series, or saga rather, Twilight, was really popular. And I actually wasn't a particular fan of Twilight, but I loved the idea of having, like, a glittery, glowing skin on a vampire. So do you know what I used to do? Into my setting powder, I used to mix in a bright white sparkly powder so that I could get the effect of diamond encrusted skin. And I used to swipe this all over my face. I must have been such the symbol of beauty because I must have been literally just sparkling everywhere. Mmm, yes, let's get it all over the skin. I have no idea what I used to use, but this is not as sparkly as my skin used to be. It used to be literally like I had glitter skin. Like, quite amazing, I suppose. Quite, like, avant-garde in the era before highlighting, but even so... Still a little bit tragic. Mm. So at this time in my life, I had not discovered baking. I had not discovered, you know, doing your eyebrows before your makeup or doing your eyes before your foundation. Not discovered any of those sorts of wonderful things. What I actually used to do is just take a liquid eyeliner and smash on some brows right about now. So I haven't done this since then, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna take some liquid eyeliner. This, in fact, is an eyeliner felt tip. These didn't technically exist back then, but I don't have one of those little dippy liners at the moment because I'm just not a fan of them now we have felt tip liner. So, oh gosh, this is going to be difficult, isn't it? I'm going to try and create this sort of insane brow. Oh my gosh, how on earth some of those goth girls can just go whoosh and whip an eyebrow out, I have no idea. This is quite difficult and to be honest, I probably don't have the finessing powers that I used to have because obviously I've got covered brows, but I would go in and deal with this with concealer, but there's just no chance that's going to happen today. I think that's going to be the best I'm going to get today. Wow, this is not a look at all. Mm, no, what was I doing with my life? Oh, goodness sake. 
Okay, so the next thing that I would do is my eyeshadow. I literally only used to wear black and white eyeshadow. That was it. Carbon eyeshadow by MAC, what I would do is take an angle brush and do this. Kind of gross, right? And then literally dip into the black and create a very rudimentary cut crease. So, like this. Boom! Two eyes done. Very uh, dramatic, shall we say. Literally, I guess what I was doing is like really old school drag makeup in a way. Very bizarre. Then I would go in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I think I would actually take one of those flat top brushes. I don't actually think I have one, but I would uh, take the same carbon eyeshadow and just like apply this to this and at the time, I didn't know that much about blending, so it would kind of end up just a bit like this. It wasn't until later on in my life that I really discovered how to blend properly. Actually, this is kind of going a little bit better than I expected it to, which is really weird to say because this blending is actually working. This trick of, like, lightening your skin tone this way has created a very, um, interesting base for shadows. I used to also take my cut creases, like, onto my nose as well. Just, you know, for that extra added... I don't know, hawk eye effect like this. Quite crazy if you ask me. So I did not have any fluffy blending brushes at this time in my life. So this was my eye look. Lovely. <laughs> then after my black was done, I would pack a bright white eyeshadow, completely matte onto the eyelid and also under the eyebrow as well. Oh, this look is just getting more and more bizarre. Oh, what was I doing with my life? <laughs> so, time to go back in with the liquid liner, and I used to do this point thing at the front of my eye down here, and I never used to blend underneath my eyes, so this is going to be a real mess, I think. I used to cover it up with false eyelashes anyway, so what was the point of blending? So, I'd do something like that and pull it all the way underneath my eye. And I would just kind of leave it like that. I would join it up into this bit up here. That was really it. I would also do really thick liner across the top of my eyelid. So now, can you kind of see the look coming together? This is, or was, my like, go-to, beautiful, goth, scary makeup, wonderful, nice. Ugh, what was wrong with me? So I vividly remember absolutely loving the mascara that MAC used to do called MAC Zoom Lash. It doesn't exist anymore, they don't do it anymore. So what I have done today is just covered my lashes with a really old school product by Collection 2000 or now just known as Collection, actually. I don't know when they dropped the 2000. Probably a few years back. This is just the lengthening mascara. Not very good, but if you know anything about super cheap mascaras from drugstores, they were everywhere, but they were also terrible. So this is what I have right now. Isn't this a gorgeous, glamorous look that you just want to go and party in? That's what I did, constantly. I used to wear four lashes on my face, two pairs on each eye, of the same eyelash. So the same eyelash for the top and for the bottom. I know, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was thinking that. I can't even remember what brand they were. I believe they were from eBay and they were just like a flat pair of lashes that was one length all the way across kind of thing. You know what I mean? They were really plastic and really shiny and just all around terrible. So this is the look with the top lashes on. Mm, it's not really doing it any justice, is it? But then... Then I would go ahead and attach the same pair to the bottom lower lash line. I used, I think I might have actually used to apply my bottom ones first and then done my top ones. I seem to have vague recollections of this, but I'm not entirely sure if I did because that sounds insane. That sounds like what an insane person would do. Wow, okay, so I have no idea how I did this like weekly or daily or whatever. I also used to wear like bright white out contact lenses with this. Like literally all I can see is this tiny little slit here because I have like a black haze around the outside of my vision. I don't know how I did this for hours either because like, I'm getting exhausted just blinking now and I've only had them on for like a few minutes. This is, this is too much. This is too much. Saying that though, I think I could sort of recreate this look now in a more sort of glamorous way and 100% wear it because the longer I have it on, the more I am like, oh yes, ancient club kid makeup extraordinaire, yes. This is Centrifugia by the really old Lime Crime packaging. Like, this is what it looks like. So I literally would just go in, no lip liner, nothing, and just 
paint my lips this ridiculous colour. Wow, I look like some sort of really scary clown. So I remember a few months after that picture of me looking like this was taken, I actually did a perfect lip, uh, perfect pink lips tutorial on YouTube as well. So, yes, this is a, uh, this is definitely something. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely something. So this was basically the final look. Um, you fancy going out for a drink or two? <laughs> Oh, can you also just imagine with like long blue hair as well? Like it's kind of iconic, very old, like club kid, like 80s kind of drag look, I guess. Um, yeah, I shan't be doing this look again anytime soon. And I'm so glad that the dark days of 2007 are firmly in the past. So how did you do your makeup? when you were in high school, because this is definitely a look. Um, yeah, I also had like shaved sides of my head, I had mohawks, everything. So I was like a real vision. I was a vision for people. Luckily I grew up in Brighton where alternative people were quite frequent. It wasn't, I didn't grow up in like some really tiny village. So I had the freedom to express myself this way. And I am really glad that I did because I've obviously upped my game. Okay guys, um, yeah. I guess I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this fun, fresh Friday. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in my, um, my next one. Let's take this crap off. <laughs>